Hey guys, it's your girl Chevelle Let Me Well here and welcome back to my channel you guys. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit the like button. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I'm telling you sis, you won't forget it. Like, you won't forget it. So you guys, thank you guys so much for the love and support that you guys give me in every single video. And y'all keep me motivated, y'all keep me pushing, y'all keep me going. And y'all, your girl got back from the gym and I look greasy as heck. Greasy AF. But anyways y'all. So in this video, we're going to be talking about breast reduction. Like we're going to be talking about sex after breast reduction. It has been like one of the most asked about questions. It was like, how was my feeling during or how was my feeling after the breast reduction? Like how was sex for me after breast reduction? And I would say that y'all, sex after breast reduction, like it was depressing. It was super duper depressing depressing af like when i say depressed like i didn't want to have sex period before having big titties was a strain it was a strain mentally emos emotionally and physically and after having breast reduction it was just emotional like it was a emotional roller coaster for me so the partner that I had back then loved big titties. Like, I knew he loved big titties. I'm not sure if he was with me just because I had big titties or not, but I knew he loved big titties. He would always try to play with them and stuff like that. And I would always be like, yo, stop. Stop touching me. Like, didn't I just tell you to stop touching me? Like, I don't like you. Back then, because it was so much, like, it was literally the thing that everyone asked about. Everyone talked about. Like, it was just so uncomfortable for me so yo if you're new to the channel go ahead and hit the like button i'm telling you you're not gonna regret it so what i say breast reduction was very emotional for me afterwards the sex was very emotional for me like i didn't want to have sex before it's okay to have big titties and they're naturally yours but For me, I think the scarring paid the biggest role for me. Scarring made me not want to have sex. Also, the hematoma also contributed to that. It was just more so of like, I don't know how. And I see people like, they have surgery and their significant others like, you know, head over the moon and they, they're like so like happy for them. Like, I don't know, it's different. I think it's different because a lot of people that I see like in relationships that are comfortable with each other, they're married. Like that was just my boyfriend. Like it's kind of different putting somebody through your own emotional strain. Like because you don't feel comfortable in within your body to have sex that you kind of deprive somebody else of something that they want in the same. And I'm not saying that you know don't do things at your own time but also that is your partner that's your partner you know you always want to satisfy your partner for me i just felt like <laughs> y'all honestly whew, and i'm getting like i'm getting emotional talking about this like honestly like i would hide like like i knew when i knew like that's what we were getting to like you know like i would like sit like i would sit in the closet for hours like I just didn't want anyone to look at me in that state and uh, it's different because having someone that appreciates your past or appreciates who you were in the past that you didn't appreciate is kind of different and it's kind of like the tables are turned like now that I have these small titties it's kind of like okay I can't play with those I can't do anything with those so okay whatever like that's how it would get to that point um so with this partner that i have this partner had seen me before and now after but it's kind of different because with this person more so understands me and let me be me and let me take my own course um and i think that's good i think that's 
good with any like relationship any situation shift that you're going through like also remain true to yourself and if you're not ready you're just not ready like i wasn't ready like i wasn't ready like i <laughs> Think about having sex with someone and you have literally fluids in your titty that you can hear. Like, imagine it was my right titty, okay? Imagine it was my right titty that was filled with, like, liquids. And I'm trying to have sex. I'm trying to move around and the pain and the scarring and the emotions. Like, it's just too much to deal with. So, I would say get people around you that appreciate you for whatever you're going through. And that's also compassionate and I'm not saying that he wasn't compassionate that's not what I'm saying at all that's not what I'm saying at all I'm saying it's kind of different between now I'm in a situation where like I said I'm single I'm single I can do whatever I want I can do what when I want when I want how I want and it's kind of like when you're in a relationship you can't do that like sometimes I still have my moments where I'm not comfortable with my cities the thing that terrifies me more about getting a new sex partner is just the conversation of explaining and you know like when you explain yourself people want to like show pictures and like stuff like that so it's always good to find someone that appreciates you for you and doesn't judge you for who you are and guys you can have as much sex as you want when your titties are healed like trust me sis but take that time to get because it's going to be a mental battle Take the time to be mentally focused on you. When you're ready to have sex, you're ready to have sex. You will know. Um, for me, I thought having breast reduction would change my outcome on sex. And it really didn't. It really didn't. Honestly, it really didn't. I don't know if it's going to be different for somebody, but... I, I'm, I still don't like titties like I have dealt with that for <laughs> 24 years of my life so now I just don't want to be bothered it's not something that you know is going to make and break me in the bedroom now I think my biggest concern about getting with another partner or somebody that I don't know is just the questions the questions that are coming up like it's not much that you can do with your titties in the bedroom <laughs> it's not that much well, that I can think of. Who knows? Y'all might be really nasty and really dirty and got y'all own shit going on. But hey, I ain't gonna say nothing, sis. But anyways, you guys, I hope this video helped. Um, if it did, hit the like button. Like I said, take your time. And when you're ready, you're ready. If depression is something that is going to be a bit of a problem transitioning into getting into the bedroom and feeling more comfortable take that mental time and take that mental problem and turn it into a po positive but handle everything at your own pace that is the number one thing that i tell everyone handle it at your own paces because if you are not ready the experience is going to be horrible anyways so just take your time anyways you guys i love you guys i'll see you guys in another video y'all if you like this video let's put hmm. let's put a green heart in the comments down below so anyways you guys i love you guys and i'll see you guys in another video bye